Welcome back, this is Yamajack, and today we got Gunslinger Hard Endless nuked on a uh, on a server here. People might join in at some point. This is episode 500, that's a lot of episodes. It's, uh, it's Christmas morning for me. It's uh, about 10.30 in the morning, I just woke up a uh, half hour ago. Honestly, it's a pretty meh Christmas. Um, by the time I'd gotten up, my uh, my family had already gone through all the festivities with uh, with the breakfast and the opening up the presents so I just got to go upstairs they uh, they fried up another egg for me and then uh, they all started to go on about what presents they got and I'm like I just don't care you know like I'm, I'm happy to be there and, and be a part of the excitement because everybody's opening up the presents and, and having fun and all that but if, if like if you're not gonna include me in it then I don't really care you know after the fact to, to go over what you got like it's, it's just, it doesn't interest me in the slightest um, so I was like you know what I got time to do a <laughs> I got time to do a, an, an endless run online so we'll go do that instead it sounds like a, a much better time than sitting up there with a, a bunch of people I don't really want to be with so much sounds like a much better time so that's what we're gonna do. I was hoping, uh, I was hoping for this episode 500, I'd have a whole bunch of like Christmas anecdotes and stuff. But no, my family just left me alone. So <laughs> yeah, I'm used to it. It's the first time it's happened on Christmas, but uh, it's uh, it's par for the course. And literally any other day, they uh, they tend to uh, I don't know, like forget I exist. Sometimes it feels like um, just kind of leave me. It's like uh, it's like the Home Alone situation, you know. I'm the I'm, I'm the kid they're gonna forget at home. <laughs> I've always had uh, well not always it's it's only fairly recently that I've uh, come to that realization, and then recently, you know, within the past few years, I've I've kind of been like you know what, I get how they could forget the kid at home. They just like don't care as much about that kid as they do the other kids, and uh, you know it, it, I, I've started getting like annoyed at the parents in Home Alone because I'm like yeah you guys just don't care about the kid like that's why you left the kid at home you know like that's that's the that's the point there you know but I can't talk about anybody in my family with it so I'm still like how do you leave a kid at home how do you forget like you just look at your kids and you see hey yeah there's there's Kevin there's Johnny there's Ella you know there they all are you know but no they just don't care is uh, is the moral of the story whatever their names are they don't care about Kevin. They don't care about uh, about poor little Kevin. It's still a good movie though. I love uh, I love Home Alone. Apparently, he, like messed that guy up for like life. His parents spent all the money that he got from it or something. It's pretty. It's a pretty nasty story about it. But I mean, look, the movie's made. The damage is done. I'm gonna enjoy it. Okay. Child acting is a uh, you know child fame in general is typically not a a great thing for. Uh, what the child's <laughs> like it's not you know you don't hear too many stories of uh, I got famous as a kid and now my life is all fine and dandy no it's typically I got famous as a kid and now my life's in shambles I'm like I just I don't know why you would uh, why you willingly put your kid through that you know parent inside the movie and outside the movie seem to care about them just as much but uh, hey, you know whatever I'm not the one that has to deal with the uh, the fame and the publicity that you might not necessarily have, have wanted, you know? And I think that's kind of what it boils down to is, you know, as a kid, you're like, yeah, I'll be in a movie. Are you kidding me? Like, that sounds like fun. And then uh, as you grow up, you're like, I didn't really understand the consequences. I didn't understand that, like, my entire school life growing up is going to be affected by this. I didn't understand that, you know, I'm going to be getting harassment and, and messages and like all of these things that you get when when you're famous you know like you didn't you didn't understand those you didn't you didn't understand the consequences because nobody explained it to you nobody you know went over with you and you didn't have the the mental like you know facility to, to understand you know that's why, uh, that's why child acting is uh, I mean it's it's basically child labor right I don't know why it isn't. I think we already killed that one. I can't remember. I don't know why it isn't. It's, uh... Because it's, it, like, it is, right? Like, they don't get paid for it until they're older. Parents typically, like, spend the money anyway. 
Because because they, 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 at best they get paid when they're older, but at worst their parents are the ones that get paid because they don't have uh, any way to get paid themselves. So it might go into a trust fund or something like that. But like the parents have access to it typically, right? And it's like I just it, it literally just like child labor. I don't uh, I don't get it, but we do it because uh, you know that's that's what we want. At the at the sacrifice of the children, which is uh, which is brutal. But is what it is. Apparently, uh, America's coming up with a new law. Uh, it's S-I-S-E-A, which is sissy, for short, <laughs> which is like, okay. Um, but it's it's uh, it's apparently there to protect against, um, like, child porn, revenge porn, um, you know, any of that kind of stuff exploitation, rape, you know, any of that kind of stuff that you don't want, you know, non-consenting porn, you know, it's, uh, it's supposed to protect against that, and at first glance, you're like, you know, that's sick, like, they're finally doing something about all of the, like, exploitation in the, uh, in the porn industry, right, like, that's, that's awesome, good on you, you know, that, that's great, we, this has been something that's been needed for, like, a very long time, right, at first, but uh, then, then you look into it a little bit more, and it's like, hmm, just like what they what they're asking. So, so apparently, anybody that that stars in in uh, that anybody that is in porn at all is gonna have to have like all of their credentials and like name and address and like all of this stuff sent to the the government agency in, in control of this. And it's like, okay, I know probably there are a number of women out there, number of men out there, number of anything else out there, who are uh, who are making porn, who don't want that. <laughs> they're they're perfectly fine with with what they're doing, and they're happy and content with their lives. But they don't want to to go and do that, you know. Um, and uh, they have a clause in there that that also specifies for computer generated stuff. So I'm like, okay, so like. We're gonna have to get like, you know, my my waifu from from the hentai that I just watched last night. She's gonna have to send all of her credentials over to the U.S. government. It's gonna have to be government issued IDs to lollies. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Um. Uh, there's gonna have to be no downloads of porn, like just just straight up no downloads. It's it's it'll be it'll be illegal to allow your users to download porn. <laughs> if it goes through and I'm like so literally you just can't stop that like if, if you look at a picture of a naked person online you just downloaded porn Wh whether you click right click it and like download or not you just downloaded it. it went to your temp folder and it'll occasionally get cleared out but like it is literally saved as a file on your computer it's cached and you can disable the caching and it goes into memory or whatever but it's still downloading it at least to memory, if nothing else. Like, there, there is just actually no way to serve content on the internet without it being possible to download. It's actually literally impossible. That's not how the internet works. And I'm like, I'm looking at it, and it's just... All of the things that they're asking for, just it goes so deep, and I'm like... So, what you're trying to do is just ban porn in general. Like it's not. This isn't gonna stop, you know, exploitation or anything like that. Not even, not even close. Okay, all of the exploiters are just gonna move to literally any country where it's not illegal to make porn. This is a giant paper cut. Like, like, like they'll just move to Canada or something, you know? Like now, now Americans aren't allowed to watch porn, but like it's still happening, you know? It was, uh, at, at first I was like, yeah, that sounds like pretty, pretty cool, you know, like, because, because there is a lot in the, uh, in the porn industry, there is, there is a lot of, um, exploitation and, and, uh, you know, non-consenting activities and, uh, revenge porn and, like, there's a lot of problems out there when it, when it comes to porn, like, on, on Pornhub or, you know, wherever you want to go, Mind Geeks, you know, huge, you know, list of subsidiaries or whatever that they got you know like, like it's it's a major problem 
okay, like something needs to be done. This ain't it. <laughs> this ain't it. This is definitely not the, the solution at all. Not even like close to the solution, honestly. Not even close. But I woke up to uh, somebody in the in the rain meter Discord just uh, just mentioning me or, or talking about it. I can't remember if they mentioned me or talked about it. I think they just talked about it. They're like, what the what what the heck is uh, is America doing now? Like, you know, an another um, in uh, it, it was it was something like you know, in the next fable of what the heck's America doing? <laughs> and then this link, I'm like. I don't know, it sounds good, it sounds good. Oh my god, what the hell is this? This ain't this ain't helping nobody. People are so against it, but like there's like no news on it, you know? There's barely any coverage on it. I, I was at first reading it, and I'm like, is this a like satirical publication? <laughs> is, is this is this satire? Cause there's no way that this is real. A sad a sad uh it's, it's, it's a sad state of affairs when you look at news and you're like, I have to just make sure this is real. Because, like, and it's like when that's a regular occurrence, you know? When, when you look at news and you're like, mm, let me just, like, make sure this is real. Let me, let me just make sure that uh, this is actually a thing that's happening, you know what I mean? What do we got? I want to see what AK's playing. I'm guessing Commando. I'm going to go with the AK-12. What is it? Is a sad state of affairs when you have to like check if it's satirical because you just can't tell. You're like, this is too stupid to be true. Except it's not, so I just have to check. You know, like ten years ago, you'd be able to look at something like that and be like, <laughs> it's the onion. You know, now you look at it and you're like, is this the onion? I do not know. I do not know. Sixteen survivalist, yo. Get out of here. I don't support that survivalist lifestyle. I don't support the survivalist lifestyle, okay? I was going to give you money, but I don't support the survivalist lifestyle. I don't support door closers. Okay? You know, you don't get my money. I'm saving my money for me because I'm a more valuable player. I'm sorry. If, if they were a medic, if they were a commando, if they were literally anything else, I'd have... Uh, I'd have given them money. I would have, I would have dumped it all in there, but... No, they're, they're, you know, level 16 survivalist who closes doors. You ain't, you ain't getting nothing from me. You're, you're making my life harder. I'm keeping it so that I don't die. If we get a medic, they're getting all my money, though. Medics get, so you always feed the medic, okay? You guys play online KF2? You feed the medic, okay? You, you feed the medic, the medic keeps you alive. Using the money they get from keeping you alive, they feed you back. It's a, it's a two-way street here. So I've been talking about manga a lot lately. I've gotten into um, gay romance actually lately. I was, I was, it's funny because I was recently talking. I was literally just wondering like, why are there so many crawlers? But it's a crawler wave. That makes sense. I was recently talking about how I prefer straight romance, and I do. Like I definitely do. Let's just toss this here. Wait here a moment, and then see ya. That will sort them. Um, how, how I was just talking recently how I prefer straight romance, and I do, um, but it's not like I don't like gay romance. I just prefer straight romance, but uh, I've, I've gotten into reading uh, quite a bit of gay romance lately, actually, which is uh, is unusual for me. I, uh, I'm i somebody who will occasionally read it. I'm not somebody who like tries to seek it out, but I've been seeking it out lately, so it's been, uh, it's been a bit peculiar for sure. This ping is like really messing me with me on this. Like I'm, I definitely feel like I'm making shots that I shouldn't be, and I'm not making shots that I should be. It's very strange. I'm not used. To it. I haven't played online in so long. Yeah, I've been reading a lot of uh, a boys' love on uh, on uh, on, on a manga, uh, manga, which is uh, is good fun. Twelve support. I'll feed you a little bit, okay? Well, I'll feed the I'll feed the support. That's my tip. Good for clotting. Um, something about pistols. <laughs> Let's go ahead and upgrade this. Do that, and then support. Where are you at? Get your butt over here. I'm gonna feed you. 
I'm feeding. I'm feeding. I'm feeling generous. Look at that feed. That was a clutch feed, dude. Anyway, yeah, I've been reading some voice love, and I, uh, I was reading one of them, and I wanted to go check the tags just to see what, uh, what we had for, for tags on it, and, uh, one of them was Shonen Ai, which was, uh, I was like, huh, I see that, like, on occasion when I'm looking at manga, but, um, I wonder what it, like, means, because I was, I, no, okay, so the way, the way it happened is because I had had a, like, preconceived notion in my mind that kind of prevented me from, from recognizing it. So I wanted to go. I wanted to go and see what the tag for for boys love was when I was reading it, and I was like, um. So I was I was like looking at the tags to try and like find like BL or boys love or or something like that, right? And uh, so I I found Shonen Eye and I'm like, hi. Huh, I wonder what that means. And, uh, so I start to, like, translate it in my head, you know? So I'm like, boy, uh... <laughs> so I, I went looking for, like, BL or something, and, and I, I missed that Shonen Ai is, is literally BL. That's that's literally what it translates. It, it, shonen is, uh, is boy, and then Ai is love. It's more, like, uh, romantic. Or is Ai, uh, romantic? Or is it, um, I can't remember. Support? I... Don't support you. No, I support you. No, I don't support you. I support me. Um... Yeah, I was, uh, I, I ended up, like, I was in my bed and I was, it just, just because I had looked at it, it all happened over the course of, like, you know, a, a second, you know? Uh, I just... I saw it, and I was like, huh, I wonder what Shonen Ai is. Like, I see that on occasion, but, uh, like, what does it mean? So I was like, in my brain, I, I went through the process of being like, okay, so we're going to read this now, you know? Like, I, I looked at it, and I saw what it said, what the letters were, but I didn't, uh, I didn't like, read it, you know what I mean? So I started reading it, and I'm like, okay, boy. And then it was just immediately like, uh-huh, I get it. I'm dumb. <laughs> it's literally just boy love. But I've been I've been reading some of that on uh, on my little manga reader. One of them really annoyed me because uh, they got uh, they were licensed. Um, yeah, I'm kiting. I don't care about you guys. I'm kiting. Okay, I want you to come over here, please. Um, because they got a licensed publication, and it was announced when the uh, fan translation was on chapter 28. Um. It was a uh, Hidamari ga Kikoeru, I believe. Um, I can hear the sunrise or something. I can't remember. I can hear the sunset. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to translate the the title, um, but I don't know what like the actual thing is. You know. Anyway, they got a licensed translation on chapter 28, or on chat. Yeah. So after chapter 28 was translated by uh, by fans. And uh, they were like, okay, so we're gonna, um, like, not translate this anymore, you know? Which is, like, fair, reasonable, respect it, you know? But I didn't, like, I'm not buying the manga, okay? Um, oh, we got a field medic, you're level one, though, I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Le a level one medic ain't ain't valuable enough. <laughs> yeah. It's just not. Yeah. You're gonna have to stay alive yourself. I think I think I think I think my money is more helpful getting me a Glock than giving the level one field medic money. Sorry, bud. I don't I don't it's think you can carry your weight. You know. It's just, like field medic is is super heavily reliant on levels is is the way it goes. Anyway, um, yeah, I've I've been reading boys love and that one that one really annoyed me because it was like they just didn't 
<laughs> Finished translating it. They uh, they did, but I had to like go to their website, and then they had it on like a, a Google Drive or something, and it was password locked and all this kind of stuff. I'm like, I'm just I'm not planning on buying the manga, you know? Like it's fine, but I'm not planning on buying it. You know what I mean? It was uh, like uh, as a manga, I think I'd give it like a six, maybe seven out of ten. As a as a romance manga, um, it, it probably gets like at best a like a four. There, there wasn't an awful lot of romance in it, and uh, romance is definitely like the part that I'm particularly interested in when it comes to um, reading manga. You know, at least these days. It was a very nice manga about uh, like uh, people who are hard of hearing and like the life they have to live and the, the troubles that they face and. The, the anxieties and, and everything around that, you know, like, it, it was a very, very pleasant manga, don't get me wrong, but, um, okay, we have, we have to, like, we have to go, alright, guys? It's, it's time for us to leave, yeah? I hate that stupid ball. It makes it so hard to see. Are we kiting or not? Like, we we doing this or are we not doing this? You know, that's what I that's what I got a question. Um, yeah, I just I prefer the the romance part right now. So I've been um, I've been I've been converted to to, to a gay romance fan. I guess is the moral of the story. I've uh, the first gay romance I've uh, I ever watched. In, in anime form was uh, number six, which was uh, about um, yeah we're fighting your rejects too bad dude, um, which was a it was about like people who were living in like pretty poor conditions and having to deal with a lot of stuff here take some money this time. I'm not giving money to the level 25 survivalist, okay? Look, level 1's, like, low-level low survivalist, you don't get money. High-level survivalist, you don't get money. You want to know the real situation here? Survivalist, you don't get money. And if, and if any of you are survivalist fans, I'm sorry. You're, like, lowest on the priority list, okay? You, 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 it's, it's a bad class. You're not, you're not, you're pulling less than a full person's worth of weight. Just from the class perspective. Okay? And I'm sure that the, you know, dead 299 underscore 200 is fine like that's max prestige survivalist I'm sure they're fine um, uh, yeah but the holy woman's already here yeah I love I love endless on uh, randoms just because I get to get so many kills you know? I got this whole thing handled, okay? Y'all just watch my back, nothing's getting through this. I got it completely sorted. Ain't nothing gonna step past me, alright? It's Gandalf on the bridge here, okay? Okay, this one didn't get past me, it got stopped at me. Okay? what I say but watch my back? This is why you don't trust survivalists. Okay? This is it right here. This is why you don't play on with randoms, because they don't know how to kite. <laughs> Nuked is a kiting map. You don't camp on Nuked, okay? I'm sorry, but you just... It's not a good strategy, okay? You gotta kite. I'm not trying to leave them in the dust. I'm, I'm like, okay, we're overwhelmed. We're, we're moving as a group. But that's uh, not what's ending up happening, you know? Hey! The plot almost got me, dude. Okay, we can just stick with the, the eagles, I think. The rest of this, only 18 zets left. Not enough to be concerned, really. Yo! Why are you enraged? Why you have to be mad? It's only game. 
Why you have to be mad? And we hope you guys are having a good Christmas. It's Christmas Day is at the time of the recording this. My Christmas is you know, the day as any other. Perhaps, uh, perhaps ever so slightly worse because I have to listen to my family uh, ramble about their presents, and I uh, had a worse breakfast than I normally would have had. So a slightly worse day than normal, but um. Yeah, at the same time, perhaps not having to cook my own breakfast isn't a big deal. Just kidding. I would have liked to cook my own, but it's okay. It's okay. You know? It's okay. Mr. Survivalist, I have everything I need. You can have some money. Okay, you don't get any money anymore. <laughs> it went over the edge. I, I thought there was an invisible wall, perhaps. There is not. That's okay. <laughs> that thing explodes, eh? It's a problem, then. The, like, this AoE stuff that you're firing off at the Scrakes and everything, it's a problem, okay? I'm just gonna level with you. I'm not helping you if you enrage a Scrake. I'm not, I'm not helping you. I'm not, I am a very, you know petty person when it comes to endless with uh, with randoms okay if you want to fulfill your role then uh, then I will help you if you're gonna be enraging stuff and making my life harder then I'm gonna wait until you die <laughs> then I'll just carry the wave okay that's how I play I'm very petty very highly petty I don't like kiting this way though. I want to kite the other way. That medic is totally just trying to leech. I I can feel it. This is not a good space to to be camping at, honestly. I'm still in first place. That's that's what matters to me. Is that my uh, my the my lead continues to to grow. <laughs> it's all about the flex. Okay? Endless is all about that flex though. I'd like it if the survive if the support didn't die so much. Honestly. It'd be fairly nice. I don't have much money. Why? I'm not sure. Yeah, what? I'll, I'll I'll keep it, okay? I'll, I'll I'll keep it. I can do a little bit of healing as well. I won't, but uh, if uh, if we get left with two people, I'll have a, a pistol to, to heal with at least. It's nice. It it would probably be me and this dude if uh, if we if I did get left with two people, and we'd be able to um I'd be able I'd be able to heal them. He'd be able to heal me. It'd be a good little combination that we get there. They got the med nades and stuff. Probably, he's probably got a pistol as well, I'd imagine. He might be going full medic. I don't know why you wouldn't just play a medic. I know that like this spot's a weak spot as well. I never aim for it because I always miss it though. You know? I want to get the kill! It doesn't show who got the kill. Well, we'll find out at the end when, uh, who, who, gets, who gets the most kills, you know? I think I got the most kills there. I bet I got the most kills. Alright, I bet I got the most boss kills, anyway. That's how you get this Billy rockin'. You gotta show appreciation for your medic, you know? You gotta show that you recognize their assistance. 
that uh, you're appreciative. Not you. As fast as you can, so not you. <laughs> you are not the one I am thanking. I am thanking somebody else. Somebody useful. They're being useful. You know, the, the reality is, is the shocks on some of the scrakes and stuff is actually quite handy. But, um, I, I judge survivalists. Okay, there, there, there it is. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm percussed. Survivalists are lesser creatures. I'm, I'm sorry, but this is the, uh, the stance that I have. I can't, I can't, I can't change it. It's who I am. It's how I was raised. And, uh, I was raised right. Mama, mama, mama didn't raise no, uh, survivalist lover. Okay. Guess I'll hop out over here a little bit, perhaps. I was hoping I'd have, like, oh my. Oh my. We got, have you got a uh, flesh pound, too? That's okay. Let's take this guy out. Yep, leave. Just keep going. You know, we're, uh, we're Dory. Just keep moving, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Is that how it goes? Can't remember how the Dory song goes, but I think it's just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. That's how it goes, right? Where? Right there. Yeah, it's okay. I'm gonna ignore it for right now, okay? And this medic is not going to enrage it. Obviously, that would be a just terribly stupid decision to do for them, right? Terribly stupid decision. And they're not gonna do it. They're better than that. I uh, I recognize that this medic knows their role, and I appreciate it. They're following the person who. Uh, is the best. Okay. Keeping me alive, not enraging stuff. You know what? I take I take everything I said about uh, about you back. You're carrying your weight, bud. Good medic. I should have fed you. I'm sorry. It's nice having a good medic who like knows their place. You know. And I don't mean that in like a know your place medic. No, but like you know, you gotta you gotta place as a medic, okay? Your your place is to heal and not to disturb me. And I know how much of a like arrogant dick that sounds like, but like that's the thing, right? That's that's what medics do. And as long as you do that, then like we all get to live. And when I play as a medic, I have a blast doing that, and I, I stay in my place, you know. And my my role is is to uh, to take out the scrakes so that you don't die. You know, and if I'm not doing that, then I'm not staying in my place. We all got a place. We all got a spot to stay in. And if we're all uh, we're all following our roles and all doing our things properly, then uh, we all get to have a good time. We all get to survive and thrive. And this person is definitely not carrying their weights. You're just AFK. You're just straight up AFK. Right behind you. Well, almost. I had a, uh, I had a bit of a sneeze. I'm going to try something different. Get ready to die. Oh, somebody also already. Tried to kick him or something? Or something? I don't know. It, Pat, I don't know. Did I? Did we kick him or did he just leave? So I didn't see it pop up. Okay, you're going to have to come over here with me, okay? Thank you. Thank you. I haven't played with the mine reconstructor yet as a as a medic. Might be fun though, right? We should do that in one of these uh, 
coming rounds. I like I have all this DLC that I bought and <laughs> I have just never touched. I, I buy it honestly because I'm like, yeah, like I wanna have it for the for the for the, the series eventually, you know? At some point I'm gonna wanna play that kind of stuff, you know? And try it out, see what it's like. But I just never touch it because all I ever do is gunslinger. I never play anything else. No no other perk needs to exist. Gunslinger is good enough for everybody. And everything. You know, we were just talking about how you gotta stay in your place as your perk. Well, guess what the, the gunslinger's place is? Anywhere I wanna be. It's wherever I want it to be, that's my place, okay? Oh, I'm out of ammunition. Oh, dear. We're almost done, though. We're almost done. We're almost done, so it was fine. We uh, we are gonna want to pick up um, a uh, like M1911 or something like that if we can. Just a little something to have, and uh, I'm gonna want this right here. My uh, my grandparents forgot to give us our gifts yesterday. They're running off. My uh, my mother is running off to go pick them up now. It was like my mother was being pretty rude about it too. Honestly, I don't want to get into like too much bad mouthing kind of stuff, you know. But um, yeah, we'll we'll go with this and pick up an M1911. I don't want to get into too much like bad mouthing territory, but um. She was like, do you, think, do you think he did that so that we'd have to come back over on Christmas Day and he can come visit? I'm like, no. No. They're like 90 years old, man. They're like at 80-ish. Like, they just forgot to give us money. <laughs> like, that's not... There's no ulterior motives here. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, she's run off to go pick up our, our presents, which is just money. They've left me to go inside the building. Really now. Not the decision I would have made, necessarily. Definitely not the decision I would have made. I, I avoid the inside of the building at all costs during the wave. But that's okay. I can I can survive I can survive on my own over here. Yeah. Can't see anything, but that's uh, that's never stopped me from surviving before. Gotta be a little bit more careful with the on online. I don't feel as comfortable switching over to um, single fire mode just because uh, like the ping. I, I really like the being able to spray. I thought I popped your head, dude. I really like being able to spray, you know? It's very, very handy, indeed, for these uh, these big clusters of, uh, of stuff, you know? Very nice, indeed. We got, uh, we got them coming up behind us. We're kiting this way now. We've rejoined. I'm still in first place, of course. The lead is not growing as I would like. I'm leaving you guys. I don't want to be a part of this, okay? I'm a lone wolf. I'm that kind of, you know, ass who runs... Oh, there's only four Zeds left. I will not be assisting. What's all this noise? Is that the electromagnet boom thing? I prefer starting over here. This this is my preferred starting zone for an endless wave, honestly. This is where I like to be, this is where I'm comfortable. Tomatoes. That's my tip. Good I feel like somebody's got an like instant yes voting mod or something. <laughs> when I voted to kick, it was like immediate yes. <laughs> Maybe they thought it was a uh, like voting for skip wave or something. 
because it uses the same. Like, why do you get to vote no on Skip Trader? It's so stupid. Like, why do you get to vote no? Why is that a thing? So stupid. That's that's one of the updates that I, I really feel like they like. I'm a, I'm a huge defender of Tripwire. Okay. Yeah, I'm a big defender. I'm a big uh, I'm a big fan. I I will defend what they do with the the monetization of everything and you know all this kind of stuff which uh, people don't like so much. And I will defend it. Okay. Till till the day I die. That's one of the things where I'm like, yeah, no, people have a point. You know, like Tripwire, you guys really majorly screwed up. You really should have made it better than that. Yeah, you, you really cheaped out. Okay, this was a lazy as heck update. <laughs> the the skip trader vote thing, how it's just a uh, vote to kick. Like you you really messed up on that. Okay, not not even I, your biggest uh, defender, get to get to defend on that one. Really, living up to your name, I suppose. Dead is dead. Okay, we don't need dead alive anyway. Dead, they might be more helpful. Three flesh pounds and two scrakes. Or three flesh pounds and six scrakes. Why'd you die then? Why are you burning the scrakes, dude? That ain't right. That just ain't right. That ain't right. You don't burn strikes, okay? Yeah, this is why I don't want to be together with them. <laughs> you just, you see this panic, death, despair. This is like, <laughs> that's why I don't want to be a part of them. <laughs> like, that's not. They're not. They're not conducive to winning. <laughs> All the scrakes enraged and like, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, yeah, I don't want to be, I don't want to be, I don't want to be a part of any of this, okay? I don't mind them chasing me. I don't want to be a part of it when they're chasing somebody else, okay? No, thank you. No, thank you. I will pass. Hard pass. I know the Scrake's there. I'm, uh, I'm hoping nobody else enrages it. What did I just say? What I what I what did I just say? Literally just, yeah. Okay, they didn't they didn't enrage it, so we're we're gonna be okay here. This ain't gonna be a, a death. We're gonna be okay. Nope, nope, they didn't rage it, but it's okay. Dodge that explosion. That's why that, that, like, anything AoE is always a problem on, uh, on Endless. You, go. you might, you might think, oh, I'm gonna go, like, demo and I'm gonna have, like, just kill all of the stuff all at the same time. Nah, you're just gonna enrage all the Scrakes at the same time, and it's gonna be a pretty major problem for everybody, okay? It's gonna be a major problem for everybody. Especially on, like, Scrake waves. Oh my god. If we get a Scrake wave, I just, we're, it's gonna be so good. If we get a scrake wave, because you like these people are gonna be enraging every scrake that comes, bar none. Okay, promise. I promise. These these people will enrage every single scrake if we get a scrake wave, and uh, they'll all die, and then uh, and then we'll then I'll carry. Is <laughs> the way that it'll go, and I know it sounds rude. And I know it sounds mean, but the reality is, people who are good at KF2 typically aren't playing on uh, on on Endless on Christmas Day. Okay, it's just, it's not the norm for for people who are good at at, at KF2. Okay, we 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 play you know Hell on Earth. We play. No, you're... Come on, dude. Don't chase him. Don't chase him. Don't chase him. Leave him be. Leave him be. What'd I say? 
what I say? Leave him be. But they didn't. They didn't leave him be. They chased him. Now we're split up. And I don't want to use voice, okay? I don't want to talk to these fools. Thank you for returning. Okay, we'll we'll let you come out. Crouch down as you do when you get shot at here, okay? Lurman's making an attack or something, perhaps. Oh yeah, this, this is done. This is done. We have a uh, survivalist and a support. Okay. I'm not. I'm not getting an awful lot of help. The support's great. I appreciate the support. I do not. I do not appreciate the survivalist. Okay. I just don't. And I'm sorry, you know? I'm sorry I'm so perkist. But I, I, I judge survivalists. I do. I do. Got some ammo here. I'm the kind of person who, if, I, if I'm playing like a, a Hell on Earth run or something like that, and I see a, a, a survivalist, like, I'll take a level 15 gunslinger. I'll take a level 15 medic. I see a level 25 survivalist come in, and I'm like, hey, uh, you want to kick that guy? <laughs> it's, you just, it's not a good perk. And it's not your fault. If you like playing and you like having all those things, it's fine. But you ju just numerically, statistically, mathematically, you know, the numbers just aren't there for it to be comparable to a perk like anything else. You know, you, you just you don't have the numbers to, to be a, a, a valuable member of the, the party, in my opinion. Okay, we're going this way. We're going this way. That's just the. Uh... Do you have explosives? Okay. Um, blunderbuss is fine. You should be using the uh, the non-explosive aspect of it though. It's much much better. But that's okay. You know. That's okay. Oh dear. Oh dearie. I hate, uh, hate stalkers, man. Like, if I'm, if I'm gonna die, it's gonna be to a stalker or to a tiny terror. Okay? Like, those those are the two ways that I'll be dying. Or I'll, uh, I'll just, like, be like, you know, this is this has gone on long enough, we'll, uh, we'll leave. Or to a scrake, apparently? Okay. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Honestly, I was looking off at Discord. I just literally straight up wasn't paying attention. Um, anyway, that's going to do it for today. I was hoping we could see the end of it. Uh, to see... Um, the statistics and stuff, but we're not going to. So we will just uh, leave. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Merry Christmas to all of you. Happy episode 500. And uh, I'll, see you. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hope you enjoyed. I uh, I had good fun. I like I like endless. Honestly, I like I like endless with randoms. It's fun playing with people who aren't so good sometimes, you know. And it's like you can't blame them for not being good. Like they're not, you know, very good. They they don't have as many hours in the game as I do. They're not like you know max prestige. Um, dropped my money behind bus. Bye. Merry Christmas, peeps. And uh, I had good fun. Oops, I accidentally left the game instead of leaving to desktop. There's Minecraft. Go watch my, my Minecraft series on the other channel, dude. Bye.